Did you know you could multi-select photos by just sliding your finger? Or that you can see photos by locations you took them in? You can add a shortcut to a specific album and place it on your home screen. There's an inbuilt movie maker and video editor on all Galaxy smartphones. And there are lots of these tips and tricks in your gallery app on all Samsung smartphones. Let's talk about that. I'm guessing you already know that you could hide albums that you don't want seen in your gallery app. You can just turn on their invisibility and that's it, they're gone from the gallery app. But you could also hide photos of specific people or photos taken in a specific date. So if you go into settings, hide content, you'll be able to select faces of people and pets that you don't want seen in your gallery. And you could also decide a date range. And if any photos were taken in that date range, those photos will not be visible in the gallery app. And this gallery app is amazing at helping you organize your photos and videos. Just hang on and see. So for example, let's say you've got too many albums. You can club similar albums and create a group or a collection out of them. Just making it easier for you to categorically organize your album. So I took all my sample photos and I put them into one group and now I can easily access them like so. Now to organize photos, you have to naturally select them, but you don't have to select them one by one. Just long press on the first photo and then just slide your finger over the others and they all get multi-selected like that. It's super easy. You can zoom in, zoom out if you want to select more pictures at the same time. Now, let's say that you want to look at all your photos lined up chronologically. So what you're looking for is something called as recent. So go into settings, hit recent, and that's it. Now you'll see all your photos date-wise, just like it is on the iPhone. But what if you quickly wanted to just filter out the videos? So go into that menu and click on videos. And now you see all your videos on your phone in one place. And you can just as easily filter your photos by location. So tap on location and now you'll see all your photos neatly organized into location-based folders. But it doesn't stop there. You can also filter by faces of people in your gallery, just like Google Photos. It's in the search area. And lastly, a great way to shortlist or handpick a few photos is by clicking on the heart icon. So it's usually empty and you can just tap on it. And what Samsung does is it creates a favorites folder for you and puts all of those liked photos in there. And just a last piece of advice. So every album has a default cover image and that usually is the most recent photo or the first photo at the top left corner. But you know, you can change that cover image into something that you relate more with that album. So you could just long press on the album, click on change cover image and select another photo from within the album and set that as the cover image. I mean, it's seriously amazing the number of ways you can look for photos and videos and organize all of that in the Samsung Gallery app. By the way, if you deal with videos a lot, you could go to the Samsung Galaxy store and download video library app. It not only lets you view all your videos, but also clubs all your videos by respective folders. But most importantly, it lets you preview your videos one by one very quickly in an instantaneous sort of way. And I think they should really include this in the final gallery app. Now, the gallery app is slightly smart. It looks at all your photos and tells you which ones can do a bit better. They're called suggestions. So for example, on most devices, if you go into suggestions, there's an option for remastering pictures. It basically tells you that some photos can look better. And you can decide whether you want to go ahead with those changes or not. It would also tell you that there are quite a few old photos and that you might want to move them in trash. On flagship phones, you get more options. It'll suggest you which photos can be made into a portrait photo and some videos that it can auto edit for you to make them a bit more interesting. Another space saving functionality is the ability to identify similar photos. So if you tap on this button, it will club similar photos and then you'll see this icon. If you tap on this photo, it'll then again tell you that there are three more similar photos. And then you can select the ones that you don't like and just delete them. And that way you are only left with the one that you really like. And yeah, everything else is into trash. Now, did you know I could get into a specific album in my gallery app directly from my home screen? So let's say I take a lot of screenshots and I want to be able to access it frequently. I can just open the album, click on this menu here, and then tap on add to home screen. And once I do that, it just places this shortcut on the home screen. And now I don't again and again have to go through the gallery app to get to that album. I can just click on the shortcut and get right into it. All Samsung Galaxy smartphones can help you edit videos, create movies, create GIFs, 
and even make a collage of photos. So to get started, go into the gallery app, hit pictures, and then click on create. You'll get these three options. Let's start with movie. Now you can select multiple photos and videos and your phone will put them all in a nice timeline where you can freely move around, rearrange your clips and add effects. So you can trim individual clips to choose which part of the video you want to use. You can choose a nice filter. You can just tweak certain settings, add, edit and stylize text on top of the video and then even add a music of your liking. And then you can finally choose which aspect ratio, whether you want a vertical or horizontal video and you can add transition effects from amongst these few choices and just save that video. Similarly, you can create a GIF. So you could select a few photos and then just tap on GIF. Again, you can decide on the aspect ratio, you can decide on the speed of the rotation of the GIF and you can add more clips if you desire. And then that's it. Simply save it and it'll get saved in your gallery. Next, don't underestimate the search function in your gallery app. You can look for photos by location or even by shot type. So if you're only interested in, let's say, portrait photos or videos or selfies, you can just click on one of these and that's it. On certain flagship phones, you'll also see certain things sorted by scenery or by things. The best of it is that you could go into search and you could just like search for sky and you'll see all photos in your gallery that have a sky. And, you know, let's try something like tables and you'll see all photos that have tables. So, you know, the AI does its work, identifies things, and then it just gives you that output. And lastly, if your phone is running out of space, you can just upload some of your photos and videos to OneDrive. So if you go into menu settings, and then there's an option to sync with OneDrive, you get 15 gigs of free storage. So you have full control over which albums you sync to OneDrive. So you can choose those albums and only photos and videos in that album will get uploaded to OneDrive, saving you some space. So yeah, this Samsung Gallery app is an amazing photo and video management app, which you're probably underutilizing. So go ahead, tinker with some settings, play with some functionalities and see what makes more sense for you. Anyway, I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.